Hey everyone, how's it going today? Coach Alvarez here, back at you, another episode of Coffee with Coach. Hope you're up, doing well, got the mind in the right place. If not, as always, let's put it in the right place. So, I gotta get this out. I missed yesterday's episode. I'm listening to this stuff uh, all morning long. Been up since about 6 o'clock, and I've just been replaying the same thing over and over again, catching the goodies, and um, just real busy morning yesterday and today. Um, but I just wanted to get this out because, again, just however my day is going, when I'm listening to this stuff, I'm listening to so much information that it, it normally just takes that one thing to just kind of catch my attention and then I'll come out and share it with you guys. All right. So this is what caught my attention. Um, actually, yesterday, uh, I just didn't get a chance to put it out and today. So I just listened to it over and over again. I shared this video with you guys the other day. It was it was how I found out about the Chinese bamboo tree. Um, the the YouTube channel is Outside Perspective. And um, actually, come to find out, it's a it's a jujitsu guy, so that's pretty cool. Um, that that is doing the the podcast, but uh, it's episode one twenty nine with Andy Frasilla, leadership seventy five hard and embracing the dark side. Okay, so again, that kind of stuff is going to get my attention. It's got one of the guys I normally listen to, so let me check it out. I listen to it. It's about an hour long. I listen to it over and over again, and he's talking about. Um, the, uh, you know, just different people's mindsets, you know, some people want things and some people don't. And uh, they're talking about in the movie, um, they just happen to bring it up like um, the movie Wolf of Wall Street, uh, Money Never Sleeps. And they're talking about and I remember the part in the movie. So I was like, I want to go back and watch the, the clip of it. So I YouTube it and go back, watch the clip and, you know, kind of put things back in, in perspective. Um, but he's talking about where uh, the kid asked the, the guy, um, you know, what's your number? What's your number? Like everyone has a number. Like what's your price? You know, what, 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 are, you, what are you going for? And um, the guy turns around. He just has this little, you know, kind of devilish grin on his face. And he's like, more. Like there is no number. It's more. It's more. It's more. It's more. And that portrayed in this movie is about greed. OK, because he's taking things from people. He's he's he's, uh, you know, they're they're, you know, people are going broke and this guy's getting rich off people, you know, just being naive and taking their money and that kind of thing. But Andy Priscilla in this in this uh, podcast, he said there's two parts to that. He said, of course, it's greed in the movie because that's just how some people are. He goes, but the other side to that is more journey, more win, more impact, more abundance. Like, I just want to do more. Like, I want to, I want to achieve more. And when he said that, um, it just really hit me because that's exactly what I get sometimes. Like, it's like, man, why don't you just chill? And they were talking about that. Like, 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 because the guy on the podcast, the jujitsu guy that's actually running this podcast, he's from some small town, and I wanted, if I got it right, St. Louis, but he's in Texas now. And he goes, man, um, you know, the, the, the mindset where he's from is scarcity. It's kind of small. You know, you, you kind of get a job and, and you have a family and then like, that's it. Right. And I was like, oh, well, I can relate to that, too. I come from a small town. Scarcity mindset. A lot of people don't really move out. A lot of people really, you know, it's, it's kind of the, the, the norm is the norm there with, with you know, with a lot of things. Um, and it wasn't until I left there that I got a chance to see, whoa, there's a lot more to life than just this small place that I do love. Um, it's just, it's small, you know, and there are small mindsets there. So, um, and I, and I can relate to this part where he's like, like you said, he wants to win more. I want to win every day. You know, I, it's hard for me to rest guys. Like it's, like I said, it's hard for me to just sit there and binge watch TV. It's, it's hard for me to just you know, take a day off, go on vacation. Like if I go on vacation, I've talked about it before. It's not a vacation because I'm still going to get up and run. I still have a routine. I still got to get up and work out. I still got to eat my healthy foods that I like to eat, or at least try to find something that's healthy. It depends on where I'm at. Um, but it's never just like do nothing. You know, it's always more, it's always listening. It's always reading, you know, just again, the abundance part, like the winning part, the impact part, like making these videos, you know, is it's, it's, it's impacting. It's, it's, and by the way, if it's if it's helping you at all, you know, if you know someone that it might help, go ahead and share it. You know, some of you guys have already done that. Really appreciate that. Um, but the mindset is more. 
And again, when he said that in this podcast, I just stopped what I was doing, had to replay it, rewind it. And I've been listening to it over and over and over again. And that is it. Like there is no number. There is no number I'm shooting for. There is no number. There is not that just one thing I'm trying to get. It's everything. It's everything. I want, I want more of everything. I want to live a good, uh, fruitful life with, with good friends and, and uh, family members and, and students um, and enjoy my time uh, why I'm here. And the only way to do that is to continue doing good things and winning. And of course, well, like he said, the impact part, you know, because then they kind of get into the money part a little bit deeper on this. And he's like, man, you know, you really can't help anyone if you're broke. You know, is if you got money, you can use it in a good, positive way. You can help build schools. You can do this. You can donate to charity. You can. But if you don't have money, you can't donate to charity. You can't go build some homes for some families that need it. You can't do a lot of things that you would like to do if you had money. So, you know, there are people for sure that are uh, greedy and they are trying to use other people to get rich off of. And then you have the other people um like this guy, and he's talking about the mindset of just more, this never settling, okay, never being mediocre, never being average, your health is like one of the biggest things, like you should have more abundance with your health, like every day you should be trying to get better with your health, better with your mindset, better financially, better with everything around you, because that way everything around you is really good, and then people can feed off of that, you know, some people will take advantage of you, no doubt that's going to happen. That's just humans. That's the way life is. But I'd rather take those small losses than just like, you know, not shoot for anything and then try to, you know, uh, hide from people that are going to use you or, you know, take advantage of you. It's going to happen regardless. But I'm definitely trying to win every day. And I want you guys to win every day. It's just a, it's just a mindset change, rewiring the mind and just getting you know, like I said, the uh, there was a business meeting one time I went to and one of the guys on stage was like, man, wherever you're from, wherever you grew up at, whatever kind of influences you had, environment you grew up in, those, those layers have built up. So he's like a bunch of crap and then concrete, crap, concrete, crap, concrete. And he goes, it's just layers. And he goes, I got to get inside your head and chisel all this stuff out, break up the concrete, yank all this bad stuff out and plant new seeds in there and rewire the way you think. And when he said that... Um, it really resonated with me too. He said, like, yeah, man, I'm a, I'm a product of my environment um, in a lot of ways in the way I think. And I had to change that if I wanted to have more things, do more, be better. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do each day uh, when I get up is trying to have more and uh, be better at everything that I try to do. It's hard. Um, it's a lot of work, but I'd rather do that than just sitting around doing nothing and just being lazy and not accomplish anything. So hopefully that helps. Rewire your mind. Again, what's your number? And it should be more. Again, more better health, better financially, better mindset, better physical health inside, outside, um, better relationships around you, um, business, whatever you're doing, it should just be more. Okay. All right, guys. Jiu-jitsu time. I got to get these rolls in. You guys have a great day. We'll see you.